a six-ton death machine called Tyrannosaurus rex. But today, a maverick paleontologist is turning the world of the T-Rex upside down. In the badlands of Montana, Jack Horner is hot on the trail of the 65 million year old mystery. Come with me, we'll go back down to the Cretaceous. In a lost world where nature and nightmare converge, giant creatures rule the earth and sky. While their reign spans millions of years, life is measured by the minute. Survival depends on how big you are, how fast you are, and the size of your teeth. Only one beast is feared by all. Smart, savage, insatiable. 15 feet tall and 40 feet long. T-Rex can crush a car in its jaws. Summertime is dinosaur hunting season, and paleontologist Jack Horner is on his way to work. And what Horner is discovering sets him apart from a hundred years of popular belief. For years, people have gotten the idea that Tyrannosaurus rex was this big predatory dinosaur. We see it in the toys, in the movies, and in the books that we read. Tyrannosaurus is always trying to eat everything else in sight. I think it's an interesting idea. It's interesting, except scientifically speaking, no one's ever challenged the, the idea that T-Rex was a predator. And in fact, no one even had evidence to suggest that it was a predator. I got together with a group of students and decided to look at T-Rex as though no one knew what it had ever done for a living. We just started looking at the evidence and seeing what the evidence said about T-Rex. And we came up with a whole bunch of characteristics that seemed to be very supportive of T-Rex being a scavenger rather than a predator. And yet, no one likes that idea. In fact, T-Rex, the predator, has never been more popular. And the challenge to Jack Horner, never so great. Was T-Rex a vicious killing machine? Was it the cold-hearted butcher we love to hate? Challenging the deadly reputation of T-Rex is nothing less than heresy.